Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you like that new intro for my YouTube channel. It also corresponds with the cover art for my YouTube channel as well. Today we're not actually going to be taking a look at the Lego City or anything in the Lego room. I'm going to be showing you how I made the new intro and also cover art. And we're also going to be taking a look at a history of the intros of my YouTube channel and how they've improved and changed over the years. So I actually made my new intro video and cover art photo using Photoshop. And believe it or not, this is actually the first time that I've ever used Photoshop, but I think I've done a pretty good job here of making a really cool cover art and also a really cool intro video. So this is the Photoshop document here. You can see that there is, I think there's about 60 different pictures uh, just over 60 different pictures in this Photoshop document. So originally looking at this, you think, oh, it looks pretty weird. These minifigures are upside down. But it actually works out quite nicely when you uh, have this as your cover art for YouTube because YouTube has sort of a strange uh, picture requirement. So what I've done here is one of my layers on the Photoshop document is actually a template for a YouTube cover art. So we can see Brixie here. Uh, this little black box right in the center here is actually all that's going to show on a mobile device. Then right to the edge here where it gets a little bit light gray, that's what's going to show on a tablet. And then this entire box here is what is going to show on a desktop. And the image, the full image is what's going to be shown on a TV, which will be the least viewed version of this image because not a lot of people look at YouTube on a TV. It's more so on a desktop, tablet, or of course a mobile device. So you can see I've actually centered my Brixie text here in the middle of the mobile screen. And when I make that invisible again, you can see how I've sort of lined up everything so that the heads actually uh, show in that mobile screen as well. I actually have an example uh, of what we can actually see what it looks like on the desktop. So it looks like this on the desktop. You get the Saturn V rockets here with the flames. You get all the heads. And then also on a mobile device, I have took a screenshot of my phone here. You can actually see all the heads as well. And you can see uh, my name, Brixie, and you can also see the tips of the Saturn V rockets. So this image that I made on Photoshop sort of accommodates all the different screens, all, th all four different screens uh, that YouTube cover art can be seen on. So what I wanted to do was take this sort of cover art photo and sort of make a new uh, introduction video using this photo. So how I actually did it is I saved the new Photoshop document, which is this one here. Not a huge difference from the cover art one other than the top row of minifigs is actually just flipped around so they're standing upright because it would look sort of weird if they were upside down and then all I did actually to make uh, the intro video was I actually just made each layer visible one at a time and I saved about 60 different photos and once I had those photos saved I actually uh, put them onto another Adobe product I actually just used Adobe Premiere Elements for this one uh, I chose not to use Adobe Premiere Pro, I just used Adobe Elements because it's a little simpler to use uh, and I just find the functionality of it is it's just, well, it's very capable as well. So you can see all of these images that I saved from the Photoshop document are right here. And they're just sort of clipped along, each one adding a minifig and going all the way along until we got the, uh, the final product that has all the minifigs and all the sets present. I also did uh, some other things here. I added audio, obviously, and uh, some zoom effects uh, and whatnot. But there we go. It was actually pretty simple to create uh, my new intro video using the Photoshop tool or Photoshop program which also looks really nice for my cover art as well. As for the cover art, I just put my sig fig right here. I figured I originally, I, I did a bunch of different tests uh, using different uh, uh, layouts and it took me a long time to get this layout 
uh, figured out with all the minifigure heads. Uh, we can actually see some of the other layouts right here. Uh, I just tried different things using just sets. So in this instance, we'd have uh, these two sets visible on the uh, PC version, and then we'd have the just the Brixy text. Then I tried a whole whack of different things here before I finally got it uh, right. So that is my current uh, intro video and also my current cover art. Uh, what I wanted to do today is actually take the time to show you some of my existing intro videos and they're actually really funny. So let's take a look at some of my older uh, intro videos dating back to 2016. So when I first started using YouTube, I actually made all my intro videos and all my videos on Windows Movie Maker, which is nowhere nearly advanced as Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Elements, much better programs, a lot more intuitive and a lot more uh, flexibility in what you can perform. As you can see there, my first uh, slogan was actually live by the brick, die by the brick. Sort of a silly slogan that I came up with uh, when I first started uh, my YouTube and Lego hobby as an adult. And then from there, I started adding some audio of my own voice uh, saying the slogan, live by the brick, die by the brick. Uh, in different tones and stuff like that, just sort of playing around, having some fun. George Bricks. Live by the brick, die by the brick. And this is actually one of my original cover art photos for my YouTube channel. I actually just had one of my good friends make it up for me uh, on Photoshop. Uh, just sort of playing around with different sets and stuff like that. And as you can see, once again, I played with the uh, slogan once again. George Bricks, living by the brick and dying by the brick. And then later on, I decided to change that cover art and just do a still shot of my cover art as my intro. And I changed the slogan to keep calm, build on. Then finally, I got into building my intro videos and also my cover art using actual Lego bricks. I actually did this in a stop motion format where I laid one brick, took a picture, laid another brick, took another picture, so on and so forth. And then I used uh, some Adobe programs to add some text to the stop motion intro. And also I used this, uh, the final image of these intros as my cover art. Then in 2018, I did something similar. I made a sort of 3D version of the stop motion intro where I actually constructed the letters uh, in 3D pieces rather than being clipped onto plates. They were actually made uh, 3D, but I did the same sort of thing where I laid each piece and then I took a new photo. Then I tinkered with it using different audio and text. And this is where we leave today. This is the uh, the brand new one moving into uh, the second half of 2019. We can see that this uh, intro video actually uses a lot more layers of awesome things like minifigures, uh, also sets. It also integrates the 3D Brixie lettering uh, from the 2018 version. I've just sort of cut it out using Photoshop and added a border and a shadow and stuff like that just to make it pop a little more in the uh, photo and video. I really don't want to get into too much detail on how I actually constructed all these images on Photoshop. It was quite a timely process and I don't really want to turn this into a precise tutorial video. Maybe I'll do something like that in the future if somebody puts the request in. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments below uh, about how I did this. And uh, if you like this video and this new intro and cover art photo, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for some more great stuff and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.